This is Tom Roberts, bowed up, 1895. Bowed up catches the harshness of the summertime in Camilleroy country in northern New South Wales. The scene was painted from a purpose-built platform installed in a stringy bark tree, placing Tom Roberts level with the road. Townspeople from nearby Inverell posed as models. They included stagecoach driver Silent Bob Bates, who'd been held up by local bush ranger Captain Thunderbolt Fred Ward three decades earlier. Bates recalled to Roberts the quiet way the whole thing took place, which is what the artist captured here. Ward was New South Wales' last bush ranger, but it is a story of his wife, Warami Woman, Mary Ann Bug, that is more intriguing. Bug's knowledge of country was crucial towards survival. She likely assisted his escape from Cockatoo Island Prison which is situated in Sydney Harbour. Significantly, she taught Ward law and the importance of reciprocity within Aboriginal culture. She was arrested twice for helping her husband and during her imprisonment, the Waramai and Kamala Roy supported him as he was considered kin. Ward once said that he couldn't flee Australia as his wife was bound to her traditional lands, revealing Bugs' critical place in Thunderbolt's story. <clears throat> now I just do a close up of there's a bush ranger with the gun riding the lighter coloured horse and he's a beautiful beautiful brown dark brown horse look at the detail of the saddle the detail of the harness and the muscularness of the horse and the tail swishing the other horses and here is the um, the stagecoach and you see you've got VR which stands for Queen Victoria as Australia was not a federation that time it was governed from Britain. See another guy on the horseback with the rifles and some of these bushy type plants that are more typical of the New South Wales north and even up into Queensland. Here's some very naturalistic details of um, the gum trees. He was one of the first to do this. Tom Roberts was also part of the Heidelberg Artist School up until about this time, this naturalistic presentation and impressionistic. Artists would depict scenes of the bush in a very romantic way and they were, um, they would have tend to have more of the colours that you would see in the European paintings. They would make you feel, say, like a, like it was a romantic type of land and it was like um, the bush myth and also the dreamtime myth about the Aboriginal people, how they were viewed in a very romantic type of way.